Hi guys, welcome to Techie DIY. In today's video, I'm going to look at the LaserBox Pro from Xtool, which was provided to me free of charge for this review. The LaserBox Pro is a 40 watt CO2 laser with intelligent software. It's capable of cutting and engraving several different types of material, including transparent acrylic. The machine is quite substantial. It was delivered in a crate and it measures 958 by 528 by 268 millimeters with a weight of 43.5 kilograms. It comes with a separate air filtration unit with a replaceable HEPA filter. The work area is accessed by a hinged lid, which is a pair of gas struts fitted. The maximum workpiece size is 500 by 300 millimeters with a maximum height of 22 millimeters. And this can be increased to 52 millimeters by removing the honeycomb tray. On the lid, there's a high definition camera, which is used by the intelligent software for workpiece positioning autofocus and other functions. The X and Y axes run on linear rails and are positioned by belts and stepper motors. The laser is hidden behind a steel cover. It's a Recce 40 watt CO2 laser tube. The laser tube is water cooled by a closed loop system. The two pipes connect it to a tank and pump on the left hand side of the machine. The laser tube is quite large and so mirrors are used to reflect the beam around and into the laser head where a lens focuses the beam into a point. To move the laser point along the y-axis, the whole assembly is moved forwards and backwards along the y-axis linear rails. And to move the laser point along the x-axis, the laser head is moved left and right along the x-axis linear rail. The inside of the laser head can be accessed by removing two magnetically attached covers. The mirror and lens are also magnetically attached for easy removal and cleaning. The laser head has an air assist nozzle which aids the ablation process by blowing away smoke and debris. It also contains a stepper motor and lead screw which adjust the height of the laser head for focusing. Autofocusing is then achieved with the aid of three infrared emitters and the lid mounted camera. There's a removable tray to help dispose of the debris that builds up over time. The machine has USB, Ethernet and Wi-Fi connections and it can also be operated standalone with the button. Setup is quite easy. The laser is connected to the air filtration unit with the supplied hose. A second hose connects the air filter to an outside vent. The laser and the air filter are also connected by an electrical cable. The HEPA filter is installed. The power cable is installed and the power switch is turned on. The laser was supplied with a pack of cardboard and basswood sheets. These have stickers in the corners which are scanned by the camera and the software then identifies the material and automatically configures the laser settings. The laser box can operate in a standalone mode called laser what you draw. Anything drawn in black will be engraved and anything in red will be cut. Then just put it in the laser box and press the button. Peel off the protective paper. The laser box can be connected via USB, Ethernet or Wi-Fi. I'm connecting it to a gigabit Ethernet work. The software is available for Windows and Mac and it's downloaded from the Xtool website. To configure the Wi-Fi connection, the laser box is first connected via USB and then the software is used to configure the Wi-Fi parameters. I'm connecting via Ethernet. So I'm going to click the scan device connected to LAN button. Then select the laser box. And that's it successfully connected. The initial screen allows us to create a new project or open an existing one. This includes an impressive array of predefined models. Let's try the snake. The model is imported and displayed on the working screen. I'm using one of the sheets of basswood. The software scans for the sticker and identifies the material type as three millimeter basswood. Now we can select the design and center it on the basswood sheet. Any changes can be made in the design screen. 
The software estimates the time it's going to take to complete the job and if everything is okay we can send the job to the laser box. Once the job is complete, the snake can be assembled. Fortunately, Xtool have assembly videos for these projects because some of them are quite complex. Okay, let's have a go at designing something. I'm going to use a couple of rectangles as temporary guides. Then use the pen tool to draw a house. The rectangle tool to create the door. An ellipse for the top of the door. and merge the two with the union tool. Subtract the door from the house. Create the roof with the pen tool. Copy it. Flip it. And merge it into one object with the union tool. Add some text. Put a circle around it. and an outer circle. Create a mounting hole. Switch into the working screen. Now I'm going to put a basswood sheet into the laser box. The design is a bit too big, so I'm going to resize it. Cut lines are in purple and the engraved lines are in orange. I need to change some of the cuts to engrave. The software estimates that the job will take 12 minutes 42 seconds and we can send that off to the laser box. Press the button to start the job.
We can also import images. There are several filter settings. This time I'm using a basswood sheet without the sticker. So the software doesn't recognize it. But we can measure its thickness. Or manually select the material. For images there are advanced options. We can choose between standard definition, high definition and 3D engrave modes. I'm going to engrave this in HD and increase the speed a bit. This is going to take approximately 39 minutes. You can also extract an image from the surface of an object with the marquee tool. Some of the other things that I've tried are engraving anodized aluminium business cards. These are 0.8mm thick. I'm putting it on top of cardboard to make it easier to see in the software. Next I'm going to add a new material. The material height is the combined height of the aluminium and the cardboard. It's not possible to cut aluminium, so I'm going to set the cut and engrave settings to the same values, which are 100% power and 100% speed. I created a QR code image using an online QR code generator. Imported it into the Laserbox software, resized it, and inverted the image. I created a rectangle the same size as the business card to help me line up the image. The rectangle can now be deleted. The sharpness is increased to maximum and it's sent off to the laser box. The anodized aluminium engraves really well. And the QR code works. Next I tried engraving a glass microscope slide. I put masking tape on the glass as it's difficult to see it on the camera. To hold the glass down I'm using some hold down pegs cut from spare bits of basswood. This time I'm going to import a design that I made in Inkscape and saved as an SVG or scalable vector graphics file. Next was veg tan leather. To help prevent smoke marks, I removed some of the paper mask from one of the basswood sheets and applied it to the leather.
Next was 6mm transparent acrylic sheet. I used the predefined setting for 5mm acrylic. Next I created a box design on the Maker Case website. I imported it into the Laserbox software and cut it out of 6mm thick plywood. 6mm or quarter inch is about the maximum depth I could cut with this machine. Finally I tried engraving a glass mirror. The mirror will be engraved from the back, so the text is flipped horizontally. Ok so that's a first look at the Laserbox Pro. It's a good quality plug and play machine which is beautifully made. It can be standalone or connected by USB, Ethernet or Wi-Fi. The software is capable whilst remaining simple to use with some good drawing tools. It can import a wide range of file formats for use with third party graphics and CAD software. The camera view allows you to easily position the design on the workpiece. The software automatically recognises the sticker on official materials and sets the correct laser settings. For non-official materials, it can measure the material thickness. The laser what you draw feature is great for kids. The machine has a number of safety features. For example, it will shut down if the lid is opened. The 40 watt CO2 laser can cut to a depth of approximately six millimeters or quarter of an inch, depending on the material type. It can cut and engrave transparent materials, such as acrylic. The exhaust needs to be externally vented, but this could be through a window. This is quite an expensive machine. The main competitor is the Glowforge, which I haven't tested, but it's in a similar price bracket. The link is in the video description if you're interested. Thanks for watching, and see you again next time.